Our next example deals with finding the slope, an equation, and a value using that equation. The amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, measured in parts per million, has been increasing as a result of the burning of oil and coal. The buildup of bases and particles traps heat and raises the planet's temperature. The bar graph shows the average atmospheric concentration of carbon dioxide for seven selected years. So we have the year given at the bottom, and we have the average carbon dioxide concentration in parts per million given along the vertical. And we can see the increase. Estimate the yearly increase in the average atmospheric concentration of carbon dioxide. Express the answer in parts per million rounded to the nearest hundredth. Well, what I'm going to do is notice that this looks almost linear, where we can start with a data point in 1950 and then end with a data point in 2007. For purposes of making this simple to work with, I'm going to let X stand for the number of years after 1950. So I'm going to be using the value of 310 as the year zero. So I'm going to write down my point, zero, 310, and then I'm going to look at the year 2007 as 57 years after the year 1950. So that's going to be a point that corresponds to 57, 381. Now, we want to figure out the yearly increase, so therefore I'm going to think of this as a slope. It's going to be giving me the difference in the y values, which would be 381 minus 310, divided by 57, the difference in my x values, in the denominator, 57 minus 0. That's going to equal 71 divided by 57, which rounded to the nearest hundredth is going to be 1.25, and this is in parts per million. Write a mathematical model that estimates the average atmospheric concentration of carbon dioxide, C, in parts per million, x years after 1950. So we've just determined that using this setup, x years after 1950, we have a slope which is equal to 1.25. And because of the way we set this up, our y-intercept is going to be 0, 310, which means my b value equals 310. So in my equation, y equals mx plus b, we come up with our c value as our y value, that's in parts per million, equals our m value of 1.25. We have x standing for the number of years after 1950, plus our b value of 310. If the trend shown by the data continues, use your mathematical model from part B to project the average atmospheric concentration of carbon dioxide in the year 2050. So our mathematical model was C equals 1.25 times X plus 310. In the year 2050, we're looking at X equal to 100. That would be 100 years beyond the year 1950. So when x equals 100, we end up with c equals 1.25 multiplied times 100 plus 310. So that's going to be 125 plus 310, which gives us a result of 435. So that would be 435 parts per million.